we're going to look at ratios, rates, and proportions. Now, a ratio could be something as simple as 10 to 6, so there are no units involved. It is typically simpler for most people to rewrite this as a fraction, 10 divided by 6, reduce that fraction, factor 10, 2 times 5, factor 6, 2 times 3. The 2's divide out, and we get 5 over 3, which can be written as a rate ratio, excuse me, as 5 to 3. So that's one way for us to write a ratio. Uh, we can also have ratios, though, that don't appear to have the same units, but in fact they do. For example, if I say 40 minutes to 3 hours. Now, indeed, it appears as if the units are different, but we can make them the same. So writing it as a fraction, we could say 40 minutes over three hours, but now if it's going to be a ratio, the units must be the same. So three hours is how many minutes? Three hours, 60 minutes per hour, that would be 180 minutes. So you'll notice there's a ratio, in a sense, the minutes go away, they would divide out. So now we have 40 divided by 80. Let's go ahead and simplify that. 40 is 2 times 20, 20 is 2 times 10. 10 is 2 times 5, so 2, 4, 8 times 5 is 40. That's prime factorized version of 40. Let's see, 18 times 10 would be 180. 18 is 9 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9 times 2. 10 would be 5 times 2. So once we have that down, we can go ahead and see what cancels. So we have 2, 2, 2, 5, 3, 3, 2. 5, 2, 2 cancels upstairs and downstairs, 2 cancels upstairs and downstairs, 5 cancels upstairs and downstairs. So it seems to be 2 over 3 times 3, 2 over 9, which we could then write as 2, 2, 9, or 2, colon, 9. That's another way that we can write a ratio. But again, for it to be a ratio, the units must be the same. In medical work, oftentimes we are not dealing with things that are necessarily the same unit, so instead we go there to a rate. So ratio, same units. Rates, different units. So, you know, the simplest one for us to think about is uh, you drive 110 miles in two hours. What makes this a rate? The units are different, miles and hours. If we are to reduce this, 110 divided by 2 is 55. But notice with rates, we have to keep in mind what those units are. 55 what? 55 miles per hour would have been your average speed if you had driven 110 miles in two hours. Oftentimes this comes down to dosage. So we can look at a situation like this where a patient is given 250 milliliters in three hours. So again we recognize this is a rate. So we would write it as 250 milliliters over three hours. Now, the fact is, that cannot be reduced as a fraction, but we certainly could convert it into a decimal. So we take 250 divided by 3, and the result there is 83.33 milliliters per hour. But as a rate, in a sense, 250 milliliters in three hours is sort of a reduced rate. So it kind of depends on uh, what goal you're going for when we try to solve these problems. Uh, be careful if you're looking at these things. If we have a situation like this, if we say there are forty men and 
25 women in an office. Now, we certainly could do the rate of men to women, but we could also do a ratio. We could find the ratio of men to the total number of people in the office. So the question could ask, find the ratio of men to the total number of people. Now in that case, we have 40 people that happen to be men out of 65 people total that also are people, men and women. So if that's the case we have 40 to 65. We want to go ahead and reduce this. 4 is 2 times 2. 10 is 2 times 5. So again, 40 is 2, 2, 2, 5. 65 is 5 times 13. So if that's the case, we can see we have 2, 2, 2, 5 over 5 times 13, and the 5's would cancel, and I'm left with 8 over 13. Or the reduced ratio, you could say the ratio of men to the total number is 8 to 13. Or 8 to 13, or frankly, leaving it as a fraction would be okay. The simplest way to think about a proportion is we have two fractions that are equal to each other. So one part out of two would be the same as two parts out of four. And one way we can check those is we multiply across. One times four and two times two are the same. And that will always be the case if something is a proportion. So I ask the question, is three over the seven equals six over 14 a proportion? And certainly you can recognize right away that they would reduce to the same value, but you could also take a look at three times 14 and six times seven. 3 times 14 multiplying across one way, 42. 6 times 7 multiplying across the other way is 42. So the answer is yes, this is a proportion. But if I had something like 2 ninths and 3 elevenths, 2 times 11 is 22. 3 times 9 is 27. So we would say not a proportion. In the earlier lessons, we discussed how we can actually simplify a proportion. Let's review that process. If I have 2 over 9 equals 12 over x, you can recognize that you multiply 6 to get 2 times 6 to give you 12, so 9 times 6 would give me 54. That's certainly a nice way to think about it. But you can also just go ahead and play that uh, situation where you multiply across where you can, 12 times 9, and then divide the other way. So 12 times 9, multiply across where you can, and then divide by 2. And that's also going to give us 54. And we shouldn't have any difficulty if we are working with fractions in the proportions because the process is the same. So if I have 2 and a half over 7 and a half equals x over 5. And it may be difficult here to see what do you multiply by 5 to get to 7 and a half? So I would suggest here, multiply across where you can and then divide. Where can you multiply across? 2 and a half times 5, and then divide by 7 and a half. So using that strategy, x is 2 and a half times 5 divided by 7 and a half. Do that mentally if you'd like. Do it on a calculator if you'd like. Write it all out if you'd like. But the result for all that is 1 and 2 thirds. And certainly, uh, fractions and decimals are, in a sense, equivalent. So I could have something like 0 0.3 over x equals 2 over 9. The rule remains the same. Multiply across where you can, and then divide. In this case, multiply 9 times 0.3 and divide it by 2. What's that going to give us? Looks like it's 1.35. So in this case, x equals 